So in this mystery box right here, we have a bunch of random DIYs. We're gonna pull one out. Mittens. From Michigan, I got this. I'm from Michigan, dog. It's, it's the mitten state. So we basically have a hot glue gun. Have you ever used that? <laughs> I've never used hot All glue right, either. All right, well, markers, scissors, everything. Okay, wait, let's flip this over. A few of my grandma's though. sweaters. Yep, let's flip these over. This is the truth right here. One, two, three. I think I got this. You do? I hope so. I don't even know where to start. So you know I'm gonna win. No. And I know you're gonna cheat. So, that's what this is for. Bye. Oh, come on. That's good, I don't want you peeking. Oh yeah? Yeah, because I, I know how to peek. sew, so. So, so. Face around. It's a good mitten shape, huh? <laughs> Close enough. Oh my gosh. We only have to do one mitten, so it's not like <laughs> super hard. Why can I not draw a straight line? Okay. I would definitely think it's easier to go to the store <laughs> yeah. and spend two dollars and buy mittens than do this, but it's gonna be cute. I definitely suggest this to my grandma. Okay, I'm cutting it out right now. It's looking Gucci. See, I made mine really big, so I'm cutting mine out smaller. I made mine small, so I'm cutting mine out a little bigger. Okay. Are you finished cutting? Yep. No, what? I'm still cutting. Oh, yeah. Does it matter who gets it done this is first? What winning looks like. Use pattern to trace mitten on sweater. Use the bottom cuff or collar of sweater as the mitten cuff. Huh? Do you use I don't the know. sleeve or the I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, you do know. I don't. <laughs> Use marker? I don't really understand though, because how am I supposed to see my mitten tree? You, you're not because you're gonna lose, so. Can these scissors cut through? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this does not look like a min at all. Mine looks so good. That, that looks like a min. Oh, you're cutting both at the same time? Uh, did you read? Can cut both? You only cut out one! <laughs> <laughs> I had to make sure it looked good. Oh. This one looks like a mint. This one's his <coughs> sad brother. Okay. okay Jordan. We're gonna make this. Why is this part so hard to cut? Oh, though? wait. My finger has to fit in this. Yeah, see. I forgot about my fingers and my hand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, the thing is, I've never used a hot glue gun, so I have no idea how it works. But, Jordan, how are you doing? Thank you. So, I think we should give you a 10 second. A what? A 10 second mark, Brandon. 10 second mark? 10, nine. Hey man. Eight, you have to have your mitten on. Seven. No, that's not a thing. Six, five. You're making up rules. Four. Wait, my glue gun stopped working. Can I use yours? Nope. But you're a cheater. You know, I've spent like $20 on these ones. I've been thinking I hope about yours it. fits you. I hope mine does too, actually. Because <laughs> I don't think mine is. I think it's time to see who the real winner is. One, two, three, a bang. <laughs> winner! I'm surprised mine didn't fall apart. Mine's halfway off. She was rushing me. Oh she yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, Riz. Woo! I have to admit it, I was defeated. I have your dare, sir. Drink eggnog in under 10 seconds. Have you ever had eggnog? It's been a while. Ugh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we have another fail. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's all for this episode of DI Dare. Bye, see you next time. Bye.